It's time now for It's Your Health, and we have some alarming news from the American Cancer Society. A new study finds rates of colon and rectal cancer are rising in people not in their 50s, but in their 40s, 30s, and even 20s. But what the study doesn't find, what's causing it? Colon cancer is something we don't have to worry about until we're 50, right? Wrong. A study in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute finds people born in the 90s have double the risk of colon cancer and four times the risk of rectal cancer than those born around 1950. But what the study doesn't find is why. People under the age of 50 don't really have screening guidelines because in the past we've traditionally considered them low risk unless there's a family history. Surgical oncologist Kenneth Meredith says it's likely caused by our sedentary lifestyle and poor diet. As Americans now, our diet is a high fat diet. It's processed food, high sugar diet. And many people in their 20s, 30s, and 40s put off the doctor. Someone that's 30 and you may have, you know, one episode of rectal bleeding, that may get shuffled on the rug and say, oh, this could be hemorrhoids or we'll keep an eye on it. You may never get a colonoscopy. The good news is if you're my age or you know somebody my age, despite colon cancer rates being on the rise, mortality rates are not changing. Colon and rectal cancer, even if it spreads to the liver, or spreads to the lung, it can still be uh, treated. And cured, thanks to surgical advancements and better chemo. But the best way to prevent colorectal cancer is to know the symptoms. Abdominal pain, you can have abdominal distension, change in your bowel habits, change in the caliber of your stool. Those things, if you're having any of those things, those should not be ignored. You should be checked out by your primary care doctor. Another study released this week from the British Medical Journal finds obesity brings an increased risk for 11 different cancers, including colon cancer.